Hey, good morning again. This is Charles Folkard, February 28th, last day of February 2017. This is my second video this morning. The first video was on uh, Flat Earth, the Google Alerts, our junk mail and spam. And I want to contrast that to my other alert I get from Google on Antarctica. And I don't call it the Antarctica anymore because people call me on it. They, you know, what an idiot I am because I say the Antarctica. Actually, I think I'm correct. I think the Antarctica is the circle of ice around our uh, level Earth. But, hey, we'll call it Antarctica for all of you shills out there, okay? I want to show you something, you know. People come to my site and they see some of my videos that are, aren't as popular as others because I talk about truth that's unpopular with most people. I had a guy this morning say, oh, as soon as you mention the Bible, man, I'm out of here. You know, I don't want to, those lies. Hey, there's more truth in the Bible than any other book extent. It's just that uh, the people who interpret the Bible are the ones that are lying, like John Hagee, and uh, uh, John MacArthur and others, uh, Chuck, the other Chuck in the Valley here, took him six years to finally realize that, the, or admit, I think he realized it a long time ago, but he was afraid to lose support. So he didn't want to talk about the truth of the Bible. But I digress. So I don't always talk about the most popular things on the Internet, even though I know what they are. See, I can do, uh, in my back room here, I can do the videos most viewed. And guess what? Two of them are Antarctica. Add those two together, and uh, I got more, almost 60,000 views on those just those two videos. And for a little guy like me, that's not too shabby, and it's only been up there for, uh, what, uh, six weeks? All right, and uh, so I thought I'd do another video on Antarctica because that's what the mainstream wants us to think about. That's what the Google alerts are in my box every day, and they're positive stuff about Antarctica. The point is there's something big going on in Antarctica, and they're getting us ready for Antarctica, and it's proven here that people are interested, it's working, because people are interested. 165 thumbs up on the one, and 75 thumbs up on the other video. And so I thought, well, heck, since I this morning I'm going to start to monetize my channel, I'm going to start uh, putting out videos that people want to watch i'm going to play the game so here we go let's go have a look at the google alerts for antarctica so you can see this one uh, google alert came in an hour ago and we got mount lebanon personal fitness trainer in france to run antarctic marathon antarctica marathon in march film festival presents loving and on Antarctica, Ice and Sky, March 3 through 9. And uh, in 2007, I hope to be the first person to run across Antarctica. Well, you see, you don't run across Antarctica, but that's what they want you to think. So, and that doesn't mean there's not a big chunk of ice out there or a piece of uh, continent out there that they're calling Antarctica. They're drawing attention away from the ring around the level earth and they're drawing it to the continent and this is how they're doing it folks and then we got a couple of the flat earth let's go have another look on the alerts so i'm gonna this is february the 8th and this is as far back for the last 20 days apparently that my back room will bring me on the google alerts antarctica and I just want to show you here, new species discovered in Antarctica. Research scientists, is, they're looking for someone to work down there. Antarctica, our shelf, has fast-growing crack. 
uh, trolling Trump, a fun vacation, and oh yeah, Antarctica is falling apart. Swimming to Antarctica. New findings made while traveling to Antarctica. Um, solo skier, skier on Antarctica misses his ship home. This is how the ice sheets of Antarctica formed very rapidly about 34 million years ago. How the hell do they know what happened 34 million years ago? You know, they pull a, a number out of their rear end, and then they and everybody just, oh yeah, 34 million years ago. A anyway, it's hidden lakes draw, hidden lakes drain below West Antarctica's Thwaites Glacier. See, they're educating us. Um, it just... Look at how many Google alerts, articles, videos, uh, latest, Lanting's latest show focuses on Antarctica. See, these people know how to get recognized by the mainstream, and so they do articles, and they do programs, and they do things involving Antarctica. So, even though I don't think that's the most important thing going on, I'm going to start to emphasize Antarctica in my videos. I, every once in a while, I'll bring it up. China's research vessel finishes expedition to Antarctica. You know, China was supposed to have gone to the moon here not too long ago, and they were supposed to have taken a picture of uh, where the Apollo moon landing, in fact, Neil deGrasse Tyson mentions it in this link when he's talking with Joe Rogan. And it's a hoax. It's so fake. They don't even want to show it to you mainstream. So they don't, you don't hear about it. But look at how much focus is on Antarctica. Scientists shocked by what they're seeing in Antarctica. Um, Swirling eddies in the in the Antarctica here in the Antarctic. Here's someone that uses the Antarctic. Here's Antarctica, not a trip for the faint-hearted. Antarctica and Patagonia. Coming up, a view from Antarctica. That's uh, MSS. Uh, what's that? Microsoft's. Uh, and then CBS this morning. You see, they're emphasizing. They are focusing on Antarctica. So there are things going on in Antarctica. Things you didn't know about cruising to Antarctica. Antarctica is a dream destination for many travelers. It's unique and spectacularly beautiful with amazing wildlife, towering mountains, and icebergs. Alrighty, so Antarctica. 16 Days ago, a little over two weeks, William Pike to summit Mount Scott. See, it's our winter up here, and it's the better weather down in Antarctica. Um, hidden lakes, or, there's that one again. Scientists on the front lines in Antarctica. It's just one positive article and focus on Antarctica after the other. And I haven't been bringing this up so I thought I would do a video on Antarctica let's I'm gonna scroll up you'll you'll get to see how many articles there are on and some of them in one day are several see this is 13 days ago we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen on flat earth i may get two or three and they're they mock the flat earth see that's you learn a lot by what you observe just by watching look at all these articles on the antarctica sea ice around antarctica shrinks to record low they want us to think that the the earth is warming anyway I, here's uh what day is this one ten days ago that would be uh, February the 18th. Look at all the articles on Antarctica. Special lecture, illegal whaling in Antarctica. Uh, 
season cruise ship for Arctic and Ar Antarctica region. Um, Redding family. I used to live near there in, in uh, Northern California, I assume. Redding family reaches all seven continents with trip to Antarctica. Anyway, let's, I'll scroll up here real fast. Six days ago, five days ago, six cool facts about money in Antarctica. Scientists examine impact of climate change on Antarctic marine life. Stock market rates in Antarctica. See, it's every possible kind of article that they can think of and focus on Antarctica. Books about the Antarctic, the continent, and exploration. Unthawing Antarctica. Antarctica, Antarctica, Antarctica. While Flat Earth is mocked and ridiculed and made fun of so that we don't believe in the truth of the level earth stationary level earth covered with a firmament as scripture says and i'm going to lose some people i was with you until you talked about the bible okay hey f off i'm tired of you people let's go have a look at one of the films they're going to show on antarctica Here's the Film Festival presents Loving and Antarctica, Ice and Sky on March the 3rd through the 9th. Oscar winning director Luke, that is Luke Jacquet. March of the Penguins comes a steering portrait of French glaciologist Claude Loris, Loris. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I'm not, I don't, it's all French to me whose groundbreaking research in Antarctica gave us the first clear evidence of man-made global climate change. See, these people know how to get free advertising. They just go along with the agenda, okay? Anyway, here it is. You can share it on Facebook. You can talk about it on Twitter, blah, 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 blah. It's all about flat earth people. I mean, I'm sorry. It's all about Antarctica. It's not about flat earth, but it's all about what they want you to believe. I just finished uh, Jules Verne's, excuse me, Journey to the Center of the Earth science fiction written a while ago. It was an okay book. I don't care to read uh, science fiction. I don't care much for fiction. I've been reading through this book by... Amandio Gianni, Gianini, an Italian guy translated into English. I'm having a hard time getting through this one. He, either the translation's not very good, and it's hard to understand exactly what he's talking about because the pictures, the images are not very good. This guy's got a really different view. It's going to take me a little more work. But now that I'm done with Jules Verne, I'm going to read through Alone by Richard Byrd. And I, for you shills out there, I didn't say bird, okay, or beard, all right, bird, okay. You got, you know, when you get to be my age and you got your head so, so full of so many, I've forgotten, I've forgotten more stuff than a lot of you people even know, all right. So you shills and you guys that want to detract because I, I may uh, mispronounce a word or I may, uh, forget something or I may uh, uh, have a verbal typo you know what do your own YouTube channel and let's see how well you do you know yeah and for the rest of you that uh, give me the thumbs up much appreciated you know we're winning folks and it's guys like me who stammer our way through this and we we now have access to mainstream or mass um, media i got what is it sixty thousand views and if you add them all up i've got over a hundred thousand views and i've been doing this for just over a year and uh you know what i'm in this for the long haul so i want to thank you for watching embrace the love of the truth and the bible has more truth in it than all the other books in the world put together all right and if you don't like that fact piss off 
And, uh, and may the grace of God, our Father, the creator of the Antarctica, oh, sorry, the creator of Antarctica, which is the ice wall around the level earth, may his grace be upon us all, for we certainly need it. See you.